They are Facebook followers, wanted to know more about noise complaints. The police often are called for noise complaints, but they're easily preventable, and the police aren't always needed. TV6's Dustin Bonk joins us now with more. Dustin? Steve, it's not unusual to have that noisy neighbor when you're living in close quarters, like in an apartment building. But sometimes it goes beyond being a rude neighbor. It's breaking the law. We'll get dispatched through central dispatch. They'll give us the address and just that it's a loud noise complaint. From Sometimes barking dogs to loud music, a noise complaint is any excessive noise that can be heard more than 50 feet from a car, residence, or building. In Marquette, many complaints are called in about college parties. A lot of our complaints are during the fall when school is in session. Uh, however, we do get a number in the summer uh, just because it's warmer and people want to be out on their porches. When police officers are called to a noise complaint, they normally scope out the problem first. If noises are heard beyond 50 feet, they move in and ask the resident for cooperation. The police. Since every situation is different, officers have considerable leeway. They might let you off with a warning, but if necessary, they will cite you for a noise violation. And in the case of multiple residents, each tenant will be cited equally. The first time a residence is cited, it's $75. Okay, that can be individually or everybody who receives a citation will be each cited $75. After that, it goes up. A second citation is $125 and a third is $200. If you decide to call the police to solve your problem, you can ask to remain anonymous. But there are other solutions too. On Facebook, Mark Davis said one word, rapport. Get to know your neighbors and have a dialogue with them. You don't necessarily have to like them, but be courteous, respectful, and willing to talk with them. Think about others than themselves. And keep, think about keeping the windows closed, doors closed during the summer because, you know, noise travels very easily. The 4th of July is approaching, and it is important to note that although fireworks are legal in the state of Michigan, they can still be cause for a noise violation. So be courteous to your neighbors this holiday and try not to be too noisy at night.